my company's Black Series Edition LLC Crystal Edge Technology Screens. This is where we got the Imperial Gunmetal and our FLE VT Company. Um, sorry, I had to delete the last video. There was just way too much going on in that video. Way too. It was way too busy. I'm trying to keep my videos where I'm not going off topic. I do talk a lot about a lot of stuff. And I'm just trying to keep it to the projection screen and only to the projection screen. Problem I have is once we already see that the screen's gonna do what it's designed to do, it's kind of like my brain goes somewhere else, like, uh, you know, because we already know already. We we tested so much stuff, so many different forms of screen paints, designed so many different forms of screen paints. This is why we go off topic from time to time. I'm trying to keep this short, sweet, and on topic today, on top, on topic of the day, because I got a same day today. I got a busy day. I found another place where another office setting, beautiful office setting. Not too far from me, about 13 minutes from me, where they, we could do demonstrations for the new acoustic screen that's going to come in the crush. Right? We're going to have a bag to come with the crush bag. So this is a screen that you could just ball it up, throw it in a bag, expands the whole nine yards, everything. It's going to be freaking beautiful. They're going to be um, they're inside, outside, and we're doing some demonstrations outside. We we'll build a couple of customized frames for it very easy to do very easy to put together anybody can do build these frames and this will allow you to set up an acoustic screen outside in your backyard watch movies throw your speakers behind the back of it take it inside do the exact same thing run it through off to a short throw it's like i said completely portable it's the screen i'm gonna be taking with me on site so i'm excited because finally i'll be on site i'll be in different locations and doing these demonstrations projector i'm choosing to use I need something lightweight, but something that does the job. So I'm going to go with the LX400. Uh, that projector cost me 95 bucks. That's the Christie LX400. Uh, we used that same projector in the demonstration for the smoke lounge when we pushed the fish through the glass. I'm using the exact same projector. They're square, lightweight, got a nice little handle to them. So I can just tote that thing all over the place. And then with my crush screen, and I'm going to pick up um, a lightweight photo background drop. So I can take that where I need to go. I got another, I, got, I bought another cell phone because I want to stream. They got, some places got free Wi-Fi. Let's see where that goes first. And if not, we don't like the signal. We're bringing our own at the end of the day. But anyway, yeah, pretty soon we're going to be set up. Uh, this is, we got, I got made some decisions uh, last night. I was thinking that now we could make an entire new shopping cart, which, oh, I really don't feel like doing. Honestly, I really just don't feel like doing a whole new shopping cart. For all these paints or what we could do which makes things a whole lot easier for me we can make it a free color option this makes it so much easier for me because the way this stuff is made it's much faster much quicker which means we can make this in no time at all so it would be much easier just to put in one label free color option and these are the colors we will have available that you can basically use this for painting down to your screen now, for some people saying, why would you make a color screen paint? This is funny because it's the same people ask me why would I paint a ceiling and a floor. Or there's a lot of reasons why. Infinity ceiling, number one, you know, all that cool stuff and change your ceiling out, dedicated to it. You know what I'm talking about anyway. But anyway, a lot of people are interested in this color paint. You know why? Because say, like I said, if you have a uh, daycare, right? They can paint a cloud in. They can paint a beautiful cloud. Oh, definitely put some of these, this cool cloud design around it. I can show them how to design that. This is pretty easy to do. Kind of cloud structure design around it. And we could turn, make a cloud projection screen, hang it up. Of course, you can make it all out of cardboard, which I love about it because there's no weight to it whatsoever. It's super lightweight. So we can hang this up. And then on top of that, you know, we can paint it blue and have it match the interior of the entire environment. Give it this little sunshine at the top of it. Now I got to build a screen now. I'm thinking about it now. I'm going to literally build this thing. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to build these weird screens. I'm already doing the projector mapping crazy stuff, but I'm going to build this screen because there's just a couple of daycares around here, which I'm going to actually donate one of the screens to. But yeah, anything going to change. Football time, you got a man cave at the end of the day. You want your screen to match your environment. I'm designing my own Eagle screen. It's going to be gorgeous. Down to my own Eagle screen. And my, butt, my I told you I got family over in Dallas, Texas. They were saying, they saw the video, it was like, you can you please make a Dallas Cowboy screen? So yes, we were making a Dallas Cowboy screen. And again, like I said, that car, that heavy duty cardboard, 
which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to be using that to make our screens with. My entire desk, well, not yet. As long as it's getting there, my entire desk is about to be all cardboard. But majority of my desk is cardboard. The screen behind this cardboard. The tabletop here, I run it is all cardboard. And I got two computers behind the back of this, which are quite heavy, and they're supporting with no problem whatsoever. Freaking love it. So I do love the cardboard. It's such an easy way to build things. I am now looking at my sofa like I had paid too much for my sofa. I literally could have made out of cardboard. I saw somebody design a luxury sofa out of cardboard. I'm like, gee whiz, I could have did that and saved me so much money at the end of the day. <laughs> Goodness. I love when I find out things later on. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to make this our free color option. It's just much easier to do it that way. So uh, don't have a price for it yet. If you have seen the, um, we have a name for it. So they're going to have interesting names attached to them. They're going to be next to Prism. So Prism Rose Purple. If you've seen that screen, that screen is absolutely gorgeous. Makes a 720p projector look absolutely incredible. So you know your 1080p and 4Ks are going to look sick on this product. And again, all our stuff is ultra sure throw compatible. So um, yeah, we're going to have different colors, stuff like that. I think the green screens are going to sell out. Last year we are in Pennsylvania, that's why, because we're Eagles over here. So, uh, it's going to it's gonna blow up on either Eagle, Eagle bars and all that stuff, you know. So, that's gonna, it's going to come out quite nicely. So, this is going to be pretty cool. So, we're going to, uh, uh, let me see. I usually, I, I put all this stuff on my plate to begin with. We're doing a cardboard screen today. I got to do a cardboard screen. It, it's if I do an installment today. If I don't do the installment, then I'm going to do a cardboard screen today. Build that, put that together on camera, paint it, and hang it up. The surface we have here, which is wood, which is quite nice, but it's wood. It's heavy. That surface is really freaking heavy. I want to get it off the wall, stick that thing in the backyard because we don't need it. And as a matter of fact, I can turn it to a backyard. No, 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 no. I'm going to get acoustic, which is much easier. It's portable. That thing is not even portable. That thing is too heavy. So stick that thing in the backyard because we're never going to, I'm not going to use it. As I use it for a floor projection screen on a backyard for fun, but we can do it with fabric. Much easier too because it's all portable. Eh, see? Anyway, so um, we're just going to stick that in the backyard. I'm going to build me a cardboard screen. I got the boxes over here. So I got about 12 boxes to make the screen I want and we'll paint that today and then we're going to hang that up paint and dry demonstration which we're going to need for this particular paint so with the first one we have it's going to be the rose uh rose purple and then we're going to do a blue um a red i do want to try yellow yellow is extremely temperamental color i'm curious how that would react and um a blue and a purple that should be enough to get the whole entire collection going and the purple one, new, for some reason, people would think that would be the, um, the, um, the uh, Sugar Plum Fairy. No, Sugar Plum Fairy screens are completely different. Those screens are basically absorb sunlight. They are front and rear technology. They look, they, they look weird. They're strange. Strange looking crazy screens. The gamers are a completely different class on their own world. So they have nothing to do with this. This is not front and rear. This is only front. All right, so I do want to paint up a... Oh, I got a smaller surface I already painted up. I painted a 40-inch in here somewhere. I want to test that against the Pico projector. So I definitely want to do a Pico projector. Let's see how that would look. All right, let me do this real quick. Man, it's got angry. Yeah. Yeah. And I found this new place, this new place, which is 13 minutes from here, isn't far. It's huge. It's a big office building. It has tons of light, tons of windows, which is the two things I love the most when I do setups. I love light. I love windows because they look so impressive, especially when you're doing demonstrations. And it's a commercial environment. And the reason why it's a cakewalk for us, because we've already been to commercial environments already, so we know how our stuff reacts. That office building and that ultra short throw, oh, that was a cakewalk. Walking through that place, that gave me the ability to know exactly how my product would react in an office setting. So we did it already. So any office building I walk into, automatically pick up. Because we did it already. That's why I say you got to know your stuff. So we're ready to go. But this other place, what they're charging for their place, which is extremely reasonable, 
Heck, I can knock out a whole month in that place. Easy, but I don't want to do a month. I want to do a different environment. I might do two weeks over there because it's so cheap. It's so affordable. Now, what I'm going is I'm going to like conference halls. Conference halls are fantastic because we can show up the screen in an office environment. And again, <laughs> we're going to get some people get angry over this. We did this already. I can show you. I can, when we get over there, that a gray and white screen won't run in that. And white screen is definitely not running in that section. We know that. But a gray screen can't read for Jack in there. It's too much light. You're not going to dim. You can't. Can, but this way, you can't put an office and a home theater environment. It don't work that way. There's no way in the world we can. You walk into an office and everything in there is dim, or you walk into a hospital or a school or any commercial environment that requires tons of light. Even a school where you have to keep the entire setting where all the lights are dim. Can't do that. So it doesn't work that well. And, and you know, it's just not going to function well at all. I've had my screens. My screen was already in a classroom already. So in that section where we had that screen painted downstairs, that's a classroom. We had the screen in. And one thing I liked about the technology is the fact that they don't have to turn up the lights. That's the problem. They had the white screen in there. They always leave the lights out. You know, teacher got to watch kids 24-7. I myself got in a lot of trouble once those lights got out. It was Mr. Misho. So they like the fact they can have all the lights on. And the kids can read and write whatever they want to do. And they can watch them from getting in any trouble. Because once those lights go out, some people get in trouble. That was one of them. So they like that. Oh, we got a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Ugh. Now, whew, I'm going to be picking up some really cheap, affordable projectors. Oh, by the way, uh, this will have... I don't want paints. I'm going to get, get contacts now. Why are my weights right there? Wait. Where's the place to put weight at? Why? Where? Where's Havoc? I drop my dumbbells anywhere. I drop them right by the area where I need to move stuff at. Alright, let me see. Because I gotta get pictures of this. I had this posted on Facebook already. And I gotta get some pictures of it. Because again, you know, people are looking at it like, what the freak is that? Like, that's colored screen paint. And they were like, yeah, right. That's not possible. And I got to basically show proof of it. See, that's the reason why, and I can't explain this enough, don't make stuff up. I can literally make that label and sat there and said, oh, we got a colored screen paint. How many people are going to believe that one? Nobody's going to believe that one at all, period. Because people believe that screens are supposed to be white and gray. It's hard enough to convince them that black screens exist. But a colored one? ho. Oh, Good luck with that one. So you're going to have to prove this thing actually does exist. And not only exists, but you're going to have to show color patterns that you can read actual color. Because it's a different color itself. What's the difference between it and a high performance screen? Because if I go to any of those sites where they have the diamonds or the, um, the high end uh, physical screens, I have to show that that product right there can take on one of those screens. So that test has to be done, which we did those already from the first beginning. Does it work on ultra short throw? That's why we got ultra short throws in here sitting on the floor. There you go. And then on top of that, I can be accused real fast, real quick, where you're using a high powered projector. They're known for doing that in those sites. No, we got 720p, 600 by 800 SVG projector. This thing costs less than your machine. There you go. That's why when you see me do all those demonstrations, there you go. So we know our stuff when we, before we walk into the environments. And I got to back it up when I hit this place. This is, where's my other place at? Let's see. See all this? This is me. That's all me right there. These are all my different areas right here. I got two new members yesterday. I see more. All right there. Crystal H. Black Series Edition. Where's my form site at? Professional 
got notifications popping up on that site. I need to be over there. I'll get back to that later on the day. Alright, let me see. We go. This is my site right here. Got to be a member to get in there. I told you, got a form site right there. It's not a big form site, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I wasn't posted on there for a while, really wasn't. And then I just started posting in there. Oh, for you haters, because I know you haters coming to my room to figure out what I'm up to. Gee whiz, if you're in my, I'm just gonna make this real quick. If you're in my room, just to figure out what I'm doing, so you can hate on it. Again. Take a good long look at yourself in the mirror. This is your life. Literally. That's sad. Following another man's work and hating on it. It's like the haters club. Yeah, I got my own form site. I'm actually in all these. I'm in every last one of these. Oh, they got this touch glass. I'm actually looking at that for my, my ad tech over there. But yeah, this is my site right here. We got a chat room and everything. So right there. Got the demonstrations in there with SL screens showing the difference between our technology and their screens. Yeah. I don't post no negative nonsense in there. That's what the blacklist is for. That's why you got to know how to do things professionally. That's what the blacklist is for. Anything we have a dispute with a problem, it can be a projector, lead lights, whatever it may be, it goes to that blacklist. It's an informal site. And links to the black site are only on here. We can actually go check out the site. That's it. But we don't post no pictures and all that dumb nonsense like they do. And we're just professional. We post our video demonstrations, customer demonstrations, right? These are customers right here. Uh, new updates on new, new products that are coming out. Uh, projector mapping, applications, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I'm talking back and forth to our customers. I keep this at a distance because we got weirdos on our channel. I'm sorry, but we got stalkers. They're just creepy. They come on my channel. I literally had one of them actually make a name of one of the people that we had here. We're doing business with. They're creepy. They do creepy stuff. Um, stuff like this. So this is stuff we have on the page right here. Floor projection, technology, game, and all that stuff like that. Man, you got people that are creepy like that. All right, let me see. All right, so that's our forum site right there. And you can't just join. You got to go through me. So, once I basically read through all your stuff, certain keywords, things I ask at the end of the day, knowing that you know your stuff at the end of the day, you can go through. All right, let me see. Let me go over here. Over here. Over there. Over here. We got over here. Over here. Um, I'm going to look at my symbol here. All right, let me see where we at right here. I could do the specifications from there. And then come over here. I'm go back to my Crystal page. That's my Crystal Witch page. Do I have that? I should change my background. Oh, and by the way, that picture right there, this is mine, which I find it interesting that that's mine. That's in the backyard where they had the dual 150 inch screen side by side with the projectors. I believe that's 720p and that's 1080p. Like you really can't tell one from the other. But yeah, that's my setup right there. Hmm, that's growing. It's getting there. All right. So with that being said, there. Let me see. Oh, so those are the colors of the screens. That's one of the colors right there. That right there is the um, uh, purple rose. So we want to do a free color option. Let me see. Bum, 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 I think I might write the whole specification sheet right there on YouTube and then copy it from there. Because everything's memorized on my phone, literally. And this product's coming out pretty soon. This is going to be our affordable. This is going to be affordable paint we got coming out um, under $200 pretty soon. 
this is ad tech technology and that's for customers unless you own a company this is the only reason why this would actually apply to you but if you don't own a company we can't sell this to you so if someone a customer tries to buy this you can't buy this your order will be denied right from the door as a matter of fact you got you can't even go to the other site to get it you can't even pick it up at on the um the black series this is a special website being designed for this the only way you can get access to this you have to show you have a legitimate business it's the only way you can go near this this stuff at the end of the day you have to show you have a legitimate business which means you're going to be asking for some your llc's all that stuff that document paperwork you're going to need all that stuff to show that you have a legitimate business before you have come near this so this is an expensive screen these things are not cheap so a four by four and that technology is thirteen hundred dollars we do an eight guy was asking for a four we do a four by eight a four by eight somewhere between almost about twenty seven twenty seven hundred dollars and we got stores right now that don't even want the four by four and they don't want the 20 they want the whole glass coated with that technology because they own the store that's why they want the whole glass coated like are you sure you want the order you want the whole thing coated we're talking about 10 15 grand easily for that technology to be sprayed all in there and i won't be doing that job when we reach that plateau i'm hiring other people to do the job they'll be doing it got a couple friends of mine that are professional sprayers they'll be doing the job but yeah so you can't go through you can't go through uh just go pick it up put it in your cart no we want to make sure that you know exactly what this is designed for so picking it up ain't gonna be easy only people can pick it up or basically if you have a business yeah you can pick it up with no problem and that's right there on display there's the video showing off the technology Why is my on? That should not be on. Do we, oh, we? No, no, no. We do need that on. We definitely need that on. Cause you know, I had somebody at the end of the day that he might be deaf. So yeah, should be on. Definitely from the door. This is a surface we did. We painted outside a uh, tablecloth, convert it into a projection screen. Oh, we have a coating coming up for. Uh, front and rear inflatable projection screen. Gonna get ready. Summertime's coming up. I got a retro pie coming through. I got a buddy of mine custom designed me a retro pie coming through. So we're gonna do some retro pie gaming stuff like that. And uh, the acoustic screen, we got the biggest at 150 inch. We're gonna bring out a 100 inch too. So we're gonna bring out a 100 inch. Don't call them. They're we're gonna change the name to uh, the acoustic screen. We call them crush screens also because again. Just ball it up, throw it in a bag, and you're done. That's basically it. You have to fold it up or none of that. So we're going to bring out a 100 inch. No more customer demonstrations, projector mapping applications. Generate big this summer for different forms of advertising. These are the acoustic screens right here. Showing acoustic screens at their whopping size. This is the screen size at 150 inches, fully expand. It's a big screen. That thing is huge. As a matter of fact, I got one of these to send to a customer. They're going to do some videos for us. They got a nice big backyard. We'll send a screen out there for them. And they're going to do some demonstrations for the screen. Excuse me. So we'll be showing that off too. They're going to be showing off. Sorry, they're going to be showing off doing some demonstrations for us. And they speak backyards. So that's going to be fantastic for the screen for them. They're going to do a couple of demonstrations and have the screen up display. It's the same screen I'm going to be on site with when I'm walking around doing my crush screen. Easy to set up. Easy crush screen. Crush screen. All right. Man, we got a crazy day today. We got to be out and about, about and about and out. Usually I just come straight down here. Cause like I said, I'm only about six minutes from here. But I got to be out and about like all downtown today. I got to be all downtown today. Oh man, 
I'm hoping I don't. I mean, I want to do the install to tell you, but honestly, like, do we need install for publicity? No, actually, your technology, your technology does it itself. I'm going to go do some walkthroughs today. I'm going to, it's nice and warm, weather's looking nice outside. Got my kicks over sitting in the box. Got some new kicks. And I want to go over and I want to um, go walk through a couple of these places. They got this place that's going to cost me like $800 just to be able to set up in this shop. Just be there to do this video. You know why? This sucker got a cascading waterfall. So it's done for wedding pictures and all that stuff. We want to slide that screen in there, plexiglass, put a projector behind it, and push fish right through it. Now, we know they're going to want to keep it. So that display, they can put anything, any scenery in the background through the background of that waterfall. They definitely don't want to keep that. That's the ad tech technology. Yeah, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Got a couple of really beautiful places. Like I said, I want to do pictures and videos and completely different environments. This is going to look good for the website. So we can show when people come in, they can see it on site, stuff like that. That's why it's important to do a lot of demonstrations outside. If you're afraid to do demonstrations outside, if you're waiting until it gets dark, no, no, don't do that. That's the worst thing you want to do. Do a lot of demonstrations outside because, again, if you can, if you can do a screen outside and pick up a beautiful image and show there's a difference, then inside it's, not, it's going to be extremely easy. That's why I said babying your paints, hooking up with high-end powered projectors and all that stuff to try to make the screen look good for you two, you're crippling yourself. That's a 720p projector in that demonstration. That projector cost me $100. And as a matter of fact, it's the same projector I'm gonna be buying in a couple of days. It cost me 100 bucks, I can take it on site. Yeah. I wanna see something for a minute. We got this in this, I need some pictures. I need pictures today, I don't have any pictures on this. Because right now, I'm talking about this color projection screen, and they're like, uh, you got a color screen? Like, really? Yeah, it's kind of hard for people to accept that. I'd be the same way, too. I'd be skeptical as on a what? Color screen? Ah, you're crazy. You're bananas. So that's the reason why you got to have pictures and demonstrations on everything you do. All right, you're right. We're doing tree pruning today. So that's what we decided. We're gonna make it a free color option. This makes it a heck of a lot easier than me building an entire whole new marketplace. And then turn around and we gotta put each one of these paints on there. No, it's just too much work. I'm gonna do a color option on there, free color option. So we're gonna have it at 32 ounces. 32 ounces and paint up to 150 inch screen. Basic roll on, because we're gonna do a roll and paint and dry demonstration today if they don't call me for the installment if they call me for the installment then things are going to switch you're going to see me down there doing an installment that's what you'll see today but if they don't call me today and they got the things because they're really busy and they don't it's a win-win for me because then that means i can go down pick up the boxes i need i'm out of glue i'm out of tape i got orders to process and take out for tomorrow so that gives me a chance to get all that together. I still can get the orders done tomorrow, but I have to do them. I don't want to do paint at the house. I really don't. I don't do any paint at the house at all. None at all, period. So just keep it down here. Keep that separate. So come down here, get that all processed. This post office is not that far from me. Take a lift, drop that off. Come back down here. I still got a ton of demonstrations to do on the color screen. And I got three more of those or four more of those to make. And then we got to do demonstrations on that acoustic screen outside to show that off. And then I got to get ready to start setting up because May's right around the corner and I got to get ready to be on site. See how busy my time? That's why I said I don't understand how people got the time to do dumb stuff. I don't know where they find the time. Where do you get the time? Because I don't have it at all, period. And then we got festivals popping up all over. Uh, uh, what you call them down here? I'm gonna be a part of that stuff at the end of the day, and I'm gonna go to some of these festivals. So I don't know how people got the time. If you got the time, literally, to sit back and make that nonsense at the end of the day, you ain't doing much business. You are not doing much business at all. What's my portable projector? It's all faithful. Ugh. Yeah, you'll start making that sound as you get older. My uh, my uh. 
sister's son. He was like, why do you guys make those sounds when you don't get up? Because it's called getting old. That's what it's called. That's literally what it's called. You'll, you'll get don't make that sound the first minute. You get in the car and you're like, ugh. What the freak was that? Oh, my goodness. It's coming. Time is coming, baby. Time is coming. Woo! All right, I'm going to set this projector up. Old faithful. So I like to use my 600 by 800 720p SVJ projector because, again, it's, it's old. I love using old projectors. I remember we got really cute all the time for using 720p projectors. Oh, you can't use 720p. Blah, 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 blah. They still make 720p's. You know that, right? So they got rid. We got rid of 720p. Now everybody's trying to use 720p's now. Yeah, because the minute you tell a customer, like they ask you, like, how much did you pay for your projector, and you say three, four grand, they'd be like, you already turned them off on the door. How much you pay for your projector? That thing? That was like 60 bucks. Or that one was 30 bucks. That was $24. As a matter of fact, I saw a projector for $24. I'm buying it. Look, I told you, Mr. Showboat. Mr. Showboat. And the minute the camera comes on, look at him. Here he's right there, Mr. Showboat. Taco. What's up? How you doing? Let me get you a lab coat. You need a lab coat. So, you want a lab coat? Do you want a lab coat? All right, so this is the color of the, of the first one. And yes, I call it my blessing because, you know, the Lord gave us the ability to be able to make this in no time at all. Let me get this over here. Whew, man, I hope they, they, they don't because I want to I run around today. Taco, you weigh like what? I think you weigh four pounds now. Yeah, because you got heavier. You don't want to put you in the bag. Like you're getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Good thing you're not a you're not a call A Persian. Gee, wait, you'd be like five pounds. Or a Maine Coon. Chew. You're breaking my back. You're breaking my back. You're crazy. Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah. Rah, rah. All right, let me see. That serger should have been right there. It should have been right there. Where did I put the serger at? The power strip or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Let me see what we got going on here. Disconnect the lights. So I need these on. And this out. I never set any of this stuff up. I just kind of go along with everything. But right, we don't set everything up. Let me see. Should, but we don't. All right. Somebody's pruning today, pruning some trees. All right, now we got some juice. Let's get our power cords. No, I never untangled this mess. Probably drive some people crazy on camera. Gonna say something with that. Power bar. Sound bar. Yes, we got the power here. That's there. This doesn't go there. And this has to go to something. Oh, this goes over here. Uh, Lily adapter. Why the adapter's not here? Literally, adapters are supposed to be right there at all times. How come we're missing an adapter? Oh, my goodness. I swear. 
Let me supposed to have adapters on the floor right there, just in case if I need to grab one. It's probably there. I probably lost it. All right. There we go. All the way in the corner somewhere. All right. We don't need this. That's an extra cable. And I want to be to push my projector back. So. All right. Perfect. All right now we're cooking with gas, and I need a box to lift this up a little bit. There we go. Fire starts fire it up. And yes, it does read white levels, color, contrast, all that. Does it read? It doesn't read Infinity One. It does. Only the black technology has the capability. Gunmetal can't read it. They just pick up darker shades. But this, the fact that it can actually read a shade of dark gray, which is for the black levels, with the color that it is. All right, reduce. We got power. Let me see that power. Well then, there we go. And again, no expensive projectors required. You don't have to have these massive monster machines, which we use this projector a lot. This is what we call Old Faithful. This is my 600 by 800 720p SVG projector. It's a VPL CS4 projector. I like this one. It's actually one of my most favorite projectors to use. I remember the first time I saw this projector, I was sitting up there. Don't fight my cables, please. I was sitting up there and I was hunting for a projector and someone had it was just about to go um, expire. Man, I ran to my wallet so fast to get that projector, man. So fast. It was 75 bucks, man. Perfect projector. 1,000 lumens, 600 by 800. Perfect projector. Definitely what I need for work. Let me see. Fire sticks. I don't know why it requests us that. Fire sticks are going to be sitting right next to you, and it still will request that. There we go. See how beautiful that image pops up? There you go. I know when it first comes on, it looks like it's not going to show too well. Yeah, it'll work. Trust me. Um, let's see. Um, let me go to my Keystone settings because it's always a Keystone off. Let me see. Oh, that new Roadhouse. I don't like it. I really don't. I like the old one, Patrick Swayze. That's the best one. I just don't like it. It's just too much talk. All right, let me see. All right, now that's cool. It's good to go. Put our menu, come out of that. And yes, this technology can take out a certified. Yes, the rate. So all our technology is designed. It's not a big shock. All our stuff is designed to take out certifies. Honestly. YouTube. All right. Here's YouTube. Thank you. Let's get our screen a little bigger. Makes me happy. There we go. 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. So this is a one coat application. You'll see me today when I go to paint the screen down to the cardboard boxes. Like I said, if I'm not doing that, I'll just let you know that I'm going to be on site doing something else. But if not, I'll be here. So um, we'll paint it to a 12 box cardboard setup. And the screen's only going to cost me $2 to put the whole thing together. $2. Dollar for the glue, dollar for the tape. We use the tape as like a clamp system to clamp the boxes tighter together. Because this is a big piece of sheet, uh, sheet wood. It's very heavy. And I want to be able to change my screens out at will. That's what I like about the cardboard. You know, change the screens out. But can't do it if we've got this big heavy board here. So let's get something on here fun to watch. Oh, sharp. I haven't done a sharp demonstration in a while. Oh, we did this one yesterday. Yeah, I got rid of the video. Way too much talk. I don't want to be in there talking about all this stuff in the day. Just, just keep it focused to the, the product that we're selling, and that's it. So as you can see, beautiful image, 720p. 
600 by 800 res. No expensive projectors required. None of our stuff does require expensive projectors. That's why you don't see me on there with Epson LS's, 800s, and all that $4,000, $5,000 projectors on here. Because again, and I can't explain this enough, whatever projector is being used mainly in the demonstration is the projector you're going to have to have or higher in order to achieve that picture quality. Same thing. Environments, if they're sitting in the dark, guess where you're going to be at? You're going to be sitting in the dark too. So if you notice, if you see our customers, they're outside. Matter of fact, I got a customer pretty soon going to be doing some more outside demonstrations for us. We're outside, they're outside. We're inside fully lit environments, they're inside in fully lit environments. Look how beautiful that image looks. $75 projector. And mind you, my projector doesn't even have an HDMI port at all. It's using an adapter. So I told you, cheapest projectors to buy are the ones with the non-HDMI ports. Because that's a projector that's literally going to cost you 50 bucks, under $60. That's what it's going to cost you under 60 bucks can you get an amazing image using our technology and a 720p projector look at it and we're not in some ambient light controlled environment this is a garage this is a workshop see all this light we have in here nice and bright i got to change that my background too because it got a little dirty so i want it to be whider than that i like using the white background just draws in 10 times more light Show you some beautiful scenery. Like I said, we're going to do a free color option. So when you come in to buy, can't check out unless you pick your color. And I'll have the color option up there. I think I'm going to do a video for each color. So that way you can see what the video of the product looks like and the color and all that. We'll do all that on there. Pretty much it'll just be a paint dry and um, display. So you'll get a chance to see me paint the screen down and then dry it and then display. Look at the reflection off the water. The lights from the reflection of the water. The reason why we get to do these demonstrations because again we're talking about a color projection screen so you need to show it actually works um let me see bum, 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 bum. uh where is the box oh, i forgot to switch everything over uh, where you want to put weights always put the weights things up somewhere you're a menace What do you think? You like it? Do you like it? Wow. Let's see. We're going to need, uh, let's see, definitely going to need a tape today. I need tape today to do the side by side demonstration. I've noticed that customers do their research and they do they do their research and they go check to see if they can find anyone is doing our demonstrations they always come back every time customer yesterday uh, 
you're doing a demonstration on a screen that rises up out of the ground and want to do some kind of display for the background and I explained to him look we don't have any samples everything is made to order if you don't believe how amazing our stuff is go to go on YouTube try to find anyone who's matching our stuff came back and bought the stuff can't find anybody our demonstrations are untouched and this is why I said that it doesn't go well and if you're doing demonstrations, this is why I pull back from doing those demonstrations with, you know, exposing people and concentrate more on my work at the end of the day. We already did our part. We don't need to do anything more. You get caught up in that nonsense and people see that. They don't want to be bothered with you. So it hurts you at the end of the day. We don't do that crazy stuff that they do, but we do expose some people for doing some things they shouldn't be doing. But you don't want to get caught up in that. You want to concentrate on the job. Well, yeah, they went out and did the check. They came back and said, man, you're the only one doing this. And I said, yeah, we're the only ones who do these demonstrations like this. They can find anything they want. So right now, if we're selling this stuff, and somebody goes, um, well, do you have this paint? I mean, do you have a video of it? Because they're going to ask for a video of it. Here's the video. This is the projector we're using. They're always impressed by projectors we're using because, again, they're not expensive. In which we showed you with the install on the fish display for the comp for that company they're going to spend six thousand dollars for their projector like three thousand dollars for each machine i was like no we're not doing that four hundred dollars two projectors that's always needed that's it the so read show we save you money uh let's grab something else where was the fire stick yep all these fire sticks left and right Now, once we show this off at the, well, I'm doing the conference screens. If I'm doing the office building, most likely we're going to be doing gunmetal at dark gunmetal and the interior, and we're going to be doing the black screens in there. Unless they want a customized colored screen, then I can see right from there. There you go. So we do a comparison. There's our white screen there. Red screen. Getting that from YouTube. This is a very, very important demonstration test when you're doing a colored screen because you have to show that even though the screen is showing a different color, it has to be able to read proper color. That's very important. So it should be able to change its color and at the same time overpower the white surface. Slow color changer. Getting that from YouTube. Now those people find it's boring, and this is part of the deal. You have to do this. You don't have any choice around this. You literally have to do this for every single screen you've developed. You literally have to run one of these. You have to make sure it can see color. And you have to do this. When you do this demonstration, it has to be done in a fully lit environment. It has to be done that way. Because anything will function with the lights out. Literally anything. I can get notebook paper to function with the lights out. So lights on is going to be the problem. So the majority of the environment is you're planning to stick to an ambient light controlled dark environment 24-7. That's what you're going to plan to stick with. Then hey, knock yourself out. But if you're going to be going outside that to work in different schools and museums and hotels and wherever you're going to be working at and requires a lot of commercial lighting, you're going to have to do one of these. That's being done. Hit the chin up a bit. All right. Nice colors. Now, most question asked: white levels. 4K snow screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. So I think I'm gonna knock out the blue. Definitely gonna do a blue. And we're gonna do um I do want to test the yellow. Yellow is a temperamental color. So I definitely want to test out a yellow. Give me a bright yellow. 
No. I definitely want to test out yellow. Uh, green. Definitely want to do green. Definitely want to do green. So we got that blue, green, and yellow. Those are the first, next ones we're going to do. Definitely want to do an orange. How orange is going to react. And the color screens produce amazing color. Amazing color capabilities. So as you can see, next to the white surface, south the projector, fully environment. We did this over and over again, you know, da, 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 you know, the scenario to make sure the screen's white levels are picking up nicely. What better surface to test your product on is actual white. So you can see the white levels are outstanding. Oh, Tacosaurus. Tacosaurus. I'm gonna get your dinosaur, dinosaur outfit for Tacosaurus Rex. Soon, probably end of summer. We're gonna be getting ourselves another cat. Guacamole. Already chosen name for it already. Guacamole. Top one, guacamole. I get three of them. We need some friends to run around with. probably off and won't see him because again he'll be at the he'll be at the house this is the only one that i bring with me because taco is registered as a motion support cat i can take taco anywhere i want just about ain't that right taco taco source rex but i might get him i'm gonna get him a couple of friends he needs somebody to run around the house because usually when i stick him in the house and young out here he uh he gets bored Look at the inspector. Look at the inspector. I told you. That's the inspector. He sits there. He watches the screen. That's what he does. Anything that pops up there. That's why someone said, why would you put a projector screen in your cat's room? Because he watches TV. <clears throat> Somebody, fantastic idea, came up with cat TV. They got dog TV, cat TV. I had Pippo used to watch horses. Every time I watch my western, a horse come up, he'd be right there on the bed. He like horses. So I got a TV put in his room where he can watch horses all day. All right, we got that. Starfield screensaver. Make sure you can pick up a decent shade. Samsung 4K demonstration, OLED. Getting that from YouTube. And this is what you should be seeing. Anytime a screen is showing you a contrast level, you need to see this in a fully lit environment so you know exactly what you are buying. Not a dark environment, not a projector with an insane amount of contrast attached to it. Because again, when you get it home, it's not going to react the same way. You know why? You don't have that contrast for that projector. And again, if you try to turn your lights on, your screen's going to have some difficulty. That's why you don't do contrast demonstrations in dark environments. This is basically tricking the customer. Uh, let me see where I want to go with this. There we go. Supporting Pennsylvania farmers and shopping local. That's why. When I see people doing demonstrations to contrast in the dark, you know you shouldn't be doing that. You're trying to make the screen look good. That's why you do it. When that customer gets home and sticks that thing in a fully lit environment, and this projector is not with that two million to one contrast, or even four million or five million to one, it doesn't make a difference. You're going to see a huge, massive difference. You're going to be upset. 
That's why contrast needs to be done in fully the environment so the customer knows what they're getting themselves into and what they're buying. Because I've tested a lot of those products, a lot of products. And I can clearly say that what they show in some of the demonstrations don't react in fully lit environments. Uh, these ambient light rejection screens are not ambient light. If you got to be in a controlled environment with an ambient light rejection technology, you don't have it. That's like saying, well, I got to adjust the lights for my ambient light rejection screens. If I don't, it's going to wash out. What the freak did you buy? That's not ambient light rejection technology. Don't try to make it look like something that is not by darkening the environment. So as you see, white surface laying against a new color technology. It's registering its contrast levels. Not 100% black, because I don't want anybody getting mixed up on that. Only the black technology reads the infinity. But it is reading its contrast levels, which is darker shades of gray. It also can maintain its colors with no problem. In order to have color, you need to have to be able to read a white level. You need both to do it. Now, when we get ready, we're going to be doing some spray on applications outside for designing your own projection screens. I'm going to show you why the black technology we develop is the high superior screen when it comes to outdoor applications. Yeah, you can use this outside if you want, but if I'm doing an outdoor screen, it's going to be black. I'm going to show you why a white screen will never hold a candle to our black technology, especially outside. Now, some people spend canoodles for their outside patio furniture, the whole nine yards, and you got a white screen sticking out there. And it looks absolutely awful. It does, it looks awful. I'm gonna show you how to get yourself a nice advanced screen by using our technology and code anything you want with it. There we go. Actually, we'll pick an area a bit of everything in that one right there, did we not? Yes, we did. Let's go get this right here. I want to show you the contrast of every screen that we make, every screen paint we develop for this collection line. We're going to show you the contrast levels in fully lit environments. Everything's going to be done in fully lit environments. You need to know what you are buying. And we're going to use Old Faithful or some older projectors in the demonstration because I want to show you at the end of the day you don't spend a lot of money for your projector. But we don't have to use high power, beefy projectors to try to fake the image or the picture quality. All right, let's get a pause on this right here. All set out. Okay, my GoPro. I had to show you some stuff. I'm gonna walk through this place. Where is uh? Just had it. Literally just had it over here. Over here. I don't know how. Well, yeah, I guess so. We do it that way, but Arrah! somebody got the zoomies. Somebody got the zoomies. He got the zoomies. He's like, wow. Oh. Got the zoomies. So right there, that's Diamond Technology. That's a five thousand dollar projection screen right there. Show our comparison next to Diamond's Tech. Red screen. Getting that from YouTube. There's our technology. Make sure we're in the center because I told you before these screens have that reflective surface. Make sure we're keeping everything even, Steven, when we do these demonstrations. There we go. Blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. I think which one's got the commercial. That one's got the commercial. 
Is this one? Let's do the light blue while we're there. Get that light blue in there. No commercial. Gee whiz, that's an ask for light blue. Can we get one out of commercial? Thank you. So that's the difference between the prism uh, technology or color technology FLE versus diamond technology. Green screen. A simple basic side by side demonstration. Here we go. Green screen levels. Let's go over and let's get, uh, let me see. Sky blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. Let me get something without the commercials attached to it. There we go. Uh uh uh, you're in my spot. You're right underneath my feet. If I already moved forward, I'd have tripped over you and broke my neck. Cut it out. Behave. Let's go with this nice light blue. Got a nice light blue in there. Let's hit that right there. Now, when our customers see this, is let their customers know at the end of the day all our technology, everything we engineer, everything we make this is why we have certified screens here but we have to prove it it's designed to be able to perform better than a high performance physical screen when i'm on the form site i have to show this this is one of the things i have to show all right well, let's get another purple one here we got another beautiful purple slow color change out getting that from youtube Okay, let's get that white level in there. 4K snow screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. That's our white levels next to Diamond Technology. the screens here but this is the darkest one out of the group this is why I go for the darker ones things go full circle. You're a kid, you wake your parents up, can't figure out why they're so tired, why they're not up as early as you, why they don't have your energy at the end of the day. And then you have kids and they wake you up. Full circle. There's our demonstration again. It's bright at white level. Next to a high grade certified screen. The gunmetal is its contrast capabilities. 4K star screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. <sighs> 4K star field screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. Something completely different. I don't know about. I swear I asked for this demonstration so much. 
I wonder if they just ignore me sometimes when I ask for this demonstration. It's a dark one in that one. Can you give me that dark one I asked for? Oh, wait, wait, I'm gonna get this real quick. I'm gonna do that start, but I wanna do something real quick. That's a classic one. That's one of the warp drive. That's when it starts up real slow and it speeds up. It has some warp drive. And speaking of that, we gotta build our um our um our whatchamacallit, our um our portal. We gotta be working on that too. Go. I got a specification sheet to write. I gotta put in a shopping cart. I gotta put in the color. If we're gonna be actually designing. I gotta do all that today. And then on top of that, I gotta go go down and pick up what we need, make the screen. I don't have any glue here. I gotta go ahead and pick all that stuff up. Then come back here, paint everything up, get the orders ready, get the ready to process for the next day. Got a lot to do. So you can see there's our shade. Right there. Samsung 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. AK Desired Nature, AK Video. Getting that from YouTube. I got to do that because for some reason it was picking up AK. Oh, it spells it like the assault weapon. Why does it always spell it like the freaking assault weapon? Oh, of course I can see where this coming from. That's why I put AK Video. But here you did AK Desired Nature, AK Video. AK desired nature ak video demonstrations getting that from youtube and it still does the same thing all right let's go pull a yoda desired nature ak ak videos getting that from youtube you know what i mean i had to say it backwards Gee, boy. there we go and you literally have to say it backwards. I thought you not. It doesn't read it because it reads AK. It brings up an assault weapon every single time. I mean, you're trying to say AK videos. So sometimes if you reverse it backwards, it brings it up. That's why I said we got to go pull the Yoda. Doesn't Yoda say everything backwards? It literally says everything backwards.
It's an insane screen that's not even the color of traditional projection screens can read. Doesn't read 100% infinity, no, but it does read a nice shade of, uh, of gray, which we say darker gray, darker shades. And it's doing it with a projector that doesn't even have a contrast rating. There's no contrast rating for this projector. It doesn't have one, it doesn't have any contrast. It's too old. I have people saying, well, why don't you put it in 69? You can't put it in 69. The projector is that old. It only does 4.3. This projector was out before the 69 and great show projectors came out. That's why I love it so much. It's old. We can get this thing to run in a fully lit environment out here. It'll run anywhere. You can run anything you want. Well, now, now I don't know about that. I don't really got to think about that until this may pick up on a valve up. Or one of them. Because of darker screens like the gunmetal we have over here. Or the other guy got the gunmetal to pick up on a Remax. That was interesting. But anyway, but the darker screens like the black technology we know doesn't read. This would read. I need to use the gray screen for those right there. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the screen we're using is Black Diamond 1.4. Their technology. Anytime you're watching any demonstration, any kind of screen paint, you should be seeing it. You should see your certified screens. You should see a fully lit environment, low entry level projectors, and no ultra short throws. Ultra short throws is an easy, easy, cheap demonstration. Again, no distance throw. Projectors sitting on top of the environment, on top of the screen. So no. And it should be a projector that you can easily afford. Low entry level projector. But if you're watching these demonstrations on standalones, which means a standalone is a screen that's standing by itself, there's nothing really to compare it to, yeah, you, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And again, I can't express this enough. Testing. Product must show that it's been tested. Right here, these are not test demonstrations. This is us getting a feel for what the screen can do. So our basic getting a feel to see what the screen can do shows more promising and more results of screen paints that are not even tested. You don't see those demonstrations. This is not even a test. This is giving us an understanding of what we're working with. So if they're not doing the same demonstrations that we're doing, then you gotta ask yourself, are you really getting a screen paint at the end of the day? And I told you, what's most important is the verses. I don't know how we're gonna this stuff at the end of the day to tell you you could come in different colors. But you have to go through that, especially with grays. Grays and black paints, you have to go through the black versus black, gray versus gray test. You need to know that you're not being shipped a can of everyday black paint. You need to know that you're not being shipped an everyday container of gray paint. You watch someone end their demo. We're not going to mention them in the video because I don't want them on the video. But we watch someone in a demonstration literally pull out a receipt, pull out a container of paint, and match the product. Now, you imagine, for those of you who said, whoo, I'm glad I didn't fall into that mess, but imagine the ones that did, who saw that demonstration, and you got that screen sitting on your wall as you're looking at this demonstration. This is why your stuff has to be tested. Paint's coming up different colors on camera. No, you don't want that, because that's the worst, that's the last thing you want. want really bad textures and are giving off a shine where it's reflecting light off the screen this is stuff you don't want to see on a screen because if your screen's reflecting like that it's going to hot spot like crazy especially with an ultra short though sitting on top of it well, that's why the testing is important all that in the dark nonsense and i'm not talking about just the paints it certifies do it a lot too that ambient light control dark environments customized 
theater room so they can hide the screens under pockets and little corners and all that stuff. Man, you need to see all that. That's why they hate our demonstrations. That's why they take our demonstrations and they do their YouTube channel of our demonstrations to try to show where well, we did it wrong. But the funny thing about that, you haven't done it yet. That's what I find hilarious. You can't do it because your product's not tested and they don't know it's going to work. So you have to make sure you know what you're getting and what you're buying. This is right from the door. This product's not even available to you. And we're showing you these demonstrations so you know what you're getting at the end of the day. No dark environments. I can easily come in here and darken the environment, get a high caliber projector, and I can fool you. Or I can come in here with this 720p 600 by 800 SVGA projector, stick it in the full of the environment, and show you what it's designed to do and what you're actually going to get. Because again, if I don't sell this the right way, guess what? This won't go under any contract. No company will touch it with a 10-foot pole. I don't have to lie in my specification sheets, and you don't need that. Make sure you get what you paid for. That's why we can do ship backs. We can have a customer ship the item back here and we can do a demonstration live for everybody to see. When you can do stuff like that, when you have batch numbers, you show your products are tested, you can pull dates up showing your product was tested before it was sold. That's the product that's guaranteed. Not that I don't know what I'm getting to my front door and if it does get there, you're stuck with it. Make sure you're getting what you're getting. You're not getting ripped off. Anyone's claiming that their product works outside, make sure they have enough outside demonstrations to show this product is functioning correctly one of the things i notice when i look on sites is i look at the time of day and their specification sheet what do they have on there under what the power the projector reacts outside there's nothing there it just says weatherproof outdoor weatherproof that's it well, how do I know that stuff is weatherproof? You have any demonstrations of that thing being frozen out there in water? Do you even ever had a screen outside sitting out there for about a year? We had screens sitting outside for a year at the other house. That's how we know our stuff is weatherproof. Anything I'm taking down at 250, 180, or dual 150 inches? No, them things stayed up there. The wind, snow, heat storms, rainstorms, everything. In the cold, we got demonstrations we've done out in the snow. So you want to make sure your screen's not going to crack, not going to peel, it's not going to have any issues. Make sure that stuff is actually weatherproof and not them saying it is weatherproof. Very important. Nothing sucks worse than having a screen that you're going to have to repaint again because that sucker cracked on you outside because it wasn't done right. Like I said, what I said out of my mouth, customers don't get upset over that. Why would a customer be upset about a batch number? Why would a customer be upset about uh, businesses being able to do shipbacks live? Why would a customer be upset about that? Only person that's fueled over that are people that are not doing their demonstrations correctly. They're upset about that. They should be. I'll tell you one thing, you're lucky that they don't give me the ability to say what pass and what doesn't pass, there'd be very little screen paints on the market right now. And if I did pass one, it'd be the best thing you've ever seen. Because if we come and get your product, and this is true, we come get your product, you know what we're going to do to it. You know we're going to test it. We're going to put in the same rigorous, brutal testing we put our products to. And if a company or any business cancels on us, they give us back our money, don't buy from them. Because if they're afraid of us, then their product doesn't work. Because we'll test your stuff. Yeah, they cancel against us. We go buy their stuff and they cancel and we show them receipts saying, hey, they canceled. Don't buy it. Because if they're afraid of us to test it, what are they trying to hide? We're brutal with our testing. I like to make sure my stuff works. I got to be in a bunch of showrooms this summer. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And I expect my screen to work 100% as we did already when we were on site. I wouldn't dare 
to test anybody else's product unless I put it through my test first. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. Where this thing fails when I turn the lights on? I'm not going to look like an idiot out there. I need to know if your stuff works or not. See what I mean? Same way you hear me talk that way. That's the same way a distributor or anybody wants to sign a contract with you. It's going to say the same thing. <clears throat> Sorry. If we're advertising this screen for you, if we're selling this product for you, we need to know this thing actually does work. So we're gonna get ready for these color products. As I said before, we're gonna make it so it's a free color option. When this product does become available, you can go to the site. You can order the product. It'll be available in 32 ounces only. It'll paint up to 150 inch screen. Of course, as always, fast, easy to paint down. No hard to understand instructions. No light roll, mid roll, whatever. None of that. You don't even barely gotta shake this stuff up. Pour it onto the surface. We're going to do a paint and dry demonstration with a cardboard projection screen. It's only going to cost me $2 today if I'm not doing the install. That's if I'm not doing the install. Which I'll post a video and say I'm only doing the install. I'm not on that. But till then, that's what we're going to schedule. Product is ultra sure though, compatible. Advise if you're going to be using outside, we do advise the black screens, but then we'll do one outside to show you that they do work outside. And we are going to do a demonstration at 50 lumens today, also, too. And as you've seen by the demonstration, the white levels are amazing on the technology, despite the strange color of the screen. Picks up beautiful color, and next to a certified, mine is a $5,000 projection screen. This technology is going to be at a very affordable price. You have to understand, I'm not marketing this one for this price, but if I were to charge $800 for a quart, I could easily get it. You know why? Because we can prove our product can take out $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 projection screens. Yep, that's why people paid it $270, $300, $400 for my product right now on the website because we can prove that. And when we say, hey, look, do your research before you buy from me, go out. Take my demonstrations and see if you can find anyone matching our stuff. They always come back. There's no one matching our technology. Ooh, there it is. But I like for my customers to go out and do their research and do the comparisons. So if they're not doing those demonstrations, if this is not what you're seeing, and you're watching these high-end projectors, poorly lit environments, you're not seeing color level test, you're not seeing contrast test, white level test, you're not seeing any of this whatsoever, you gotta go out so Come down, so we'll take care of you. And keep in mind, if there's a problem with your product, keep in mind, as I said before, all this stuff has batch numbers attached to which means your product is tested before it's shipped out the door, and your product is tested before it's ever sold, like this one right here. You can always ship the item back to us. We will test it on a YouTube live stream. Keep in mind, this is not to embarrass you in any way. We don't disclose who the customer is, nothing whatsoever. Everything is complete confidentiality. So that means none of your information. No, we don't do that in the day. Our customer's privacy, is we respect that highly. But you can ship that item back to us. You'll never hear out of your, our mouth saying that, hey, you open it, you're stuck with it, or it landed on your property, you're stuck with it. We don't do that. For overseas customers, shipping is absolutely free. We ship in the United States free. We ship overseas free. There's no hidden charges, no surcharges. None of that. You have to worry about any of that whatsoever. Completely free. I still get that from time to time. We got people order overseas. They're like, free? It's free? Because they're not used to hearing free shipping overseas. Wait, you going to ship and test them free? Yeah, for free. We're shipping to you for free. Because I figure, look, this is why I see it. If you're taking the time to invest in my product, and we know it's got to go to customs, it's going to cost some money. So the last thing you need to worry about is shipping costs. So we take care of that for you. We take care of that for you. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And again, no expensive check is required. As I said before, they can't save you money if they can't save money themselves. This whole setup here costs me nothing. 
Well, not next year. No, yeah, sheet of wood right there is a dirty piece of plywood that I've had in the back. So that was free. When we make the screen out of the cardboard boxes, that's only $2. The projector cost me $75. And once we figure out what this paint's going to cost, well, it's still going to be cheaper. And figuring what you can do with this technology from the door and what it has the capable of overpowering, yeah, definitely worth this weight in gold. Yeah, right now for time. Oh man, I gotta get cracking Jackson. TCL 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. We do this one right here. Because I want you to see, we show you a lot of contrast levels. We need to just show you exactly what the contrast levels are gonna look like. You know exactly what you're getting. Now, if you desire heavier contrast levels. Guess what? We got black technology over there for you. If you want um, gunmetal, we have the best gunmetal on the market. Our gunmetal technology has been actually tested against certified gunmetal screens. Not saying we're gunmetal and not proving we're gunmetal. That technology can prove it's gunmetal because we tested against other high performance gunmetal screens. And on that superior technology, the only projector we used for the entire demonstration was a 600 by 800 720p SVGA projector. That's all we need to use. That's how amazing that technology is. Fully ultra short though compatible. Like I say, you have to have a special screen because the screen is very dark. So if you're into that, we have gunmetal technology. Soon we'll have our color technology screens. We have acoustic technology for those who like the acoustic setup. Free gray screen paint products on our website. I gotta get those set up on the two other set up there. On our website under digital and crystal screen paint products, which we don't make anymore, we give those away for free. For those of you into projector mapping applications, we have coatings for that. We have a special screen paint for you artists out there who want to think outside the box. And soon, we're gonna have this gold technology coming out that's gonna be under $200. Do is I want to cover all fields. Oh, and I forgot the platinum black silver, which is another technology design that we used to make uh, for um, valve projectors, Wemax, and you know, Xen projectors. Yeah, it'll pick up nice, beautiful kind of a uh, dark silver. And no projectors required. No expensive projectors required. All right. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I'd like to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing us with amazing technology because if it wasn't for Him, none of this stuff would exist. Gotta go. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna let this run right here. Yeah, a lot of work today. A lot of work. Okay, I still got to come back in and do a paint demonstration. Three, two, one. Now you're here on this leaderboard. Go hard. Why not? Yeah, it's interesting. The difference is that this is the reason why I had to make sure that every place that I connect to is only about six minutes or thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes is as far as I go. Because I have to change in and out, in and out. When I come in here, I got my street gear on. So I can take all my gear off, put my old gear on in here, paint the screen in, get cleaned up, put my street gear on, because I ain't going out there looking like a freaking bomb at the end of the day. Put my street gear on, go out there, conduct business, da 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 And then, if I come back into work, I basically got to change everything all over again. I need to get some overalls. That's going to be so much faster just to put on an overall with the company's logo on it. Oh, I forgot about that. Chi whiz. I literally forgot about that. We gotta get business cards made, we gotta get brochures made, I gotta get t-shirts made with the company's logo on it. See, that's what I'm talking about, how busy I am. And when I got, when, when I got, uh, I, had a, I don't know, you know, forget it, I don't even care. I'm not gonna talk about that. I just don't care how people have had that time to do that kind of stuff. I don't have time, period. I gotta do unboxing of all those projectors coming in. 
And these are going to be cheap projectors under 60 bucks. That's the challenge. All projectors have to be under 60 bucks. So we're going to get some really cheap machines in here. Make them look absolutely fantastic. All right, all that's done. That's all broken down. What are you doing, Mr. Spunky? That's my cat underneath me acting like a jerk. Being a jerk. He's being a jerk. All right, there we go. Are you being a jerk? You funny dude. You funny dude. All right, so this is right here. So, like I said, it's much easier to do it that way where we have a free color option because, again, I'm going to get that. There we go. Again, um, it's, um, I love that label. It's got that kind of retro 1970 kind of look to it. I like it. But anyway, um, it's much easier to do it that way. Because, again, I don't want to nickel and dime my customers at the end of the day. And on top of that, I'd have to build an entire new marketplace and new page and all. That's just so much work. And to tell you frankly, I don't have the time. So it would just be easier for me to make it a free color option. So when you go to the shopping cart, when it becomes available, when you go to the shopping cart, you, can, um, you, can, uh, you can't leave out unless you pick a color. So it works that way. Now, just in case, if we get people at the end of the day that are going to pop up and say, well, hey, uh, the screen had a yellowish or greenish tone. No, all that's tested. That's what the white level tests are for. When you see me put that white surface up there, it's to make sure that that screen is reading red, blue, green, yellow, and purple. If it has that kind of yellowish tone because the screen may be yellow or a bluish tone, that's what the white level tests are for. That's why we use them at low entry level projectors, down the projector, 50 lumen projectors, and we use them at distance throw because if I do this at an ultra short throw, there's no distance throw, and that means I have a whopping 3,000 lumens hitting my screen at less than a foot. We don't want that. We need to be about around eight to five or eight sorry not eight to nine feet away from a screen when we do that demonstration and it must be done in a, a very well lit environment because we need the projector's lumen count to drop dramatically before it makes it to the screen that means that when that projector fires off at eight feet or nine feet from the screen in a fully lit environment it's no longer a thousand lumens by the time it hits that screen over there that means that screen is going to, have to pull whatever's left and basically generate that white level we make our screens work that's why we use these machines if I came in here with a 5,000 projector and I dropped this thing in there 8 feet, that's no problem. That's 4,000 lumens traveling 8 feet. That's an easy hit. That's why we use these guys. And that white surface. So we can make sure that that screen is reading the color and it's not coming off with the tone. That's why the white level tests are extremely important when you're doing these particular screens. This way we can back the product up. This will be in the batch test. This will also be in the ship back test. So what you just saw me do a few minutes ago, you will see that process happen again and again. If a product comes back here, we'll test it there. If you refuse to ship back, this does not go well. And I explain this to people at the end of the day. We send you a ship back, send it back. All right? You have the ability to send it back. I don't understand why that's a problem. But if we send you this, we send three of these out to you. If you ignore all three, as I said before, and I hate to put it this way, I have to bring legal into this kind of stuff at the end of the day, but I have to protect my company. And I'm sorry we have to talk about this, but we have to, we have to, because I want you to know everything up front. We get customers to come in, we get beautiful customers, love them to death, but we get some customers who just do too much and they try to get over on us. They try to keep our product and keep the money at the same time. Let me explain something to you about the chargeback, and I'm going to put that in there. Hit my company with a chargeback, I'll see you in court. And the reason why we'll see you in court is because we request you to ship the item back. So we can basically take your claim and test it on a live stream for everybody to see it, which means we're not hiding anything from you. We're not hiding anything from anybody. And you don't send this product back. You go to PayPal and you file a claim against me. What's going to happen is you're going to lose your claim. We can show your product was tested. You'll have a batch number sitting on top of your container showing your product was tested before it was shipped out. And we do, can, we will present emails to PayPal or to courts showing them that we did request you to ship the item back and you ignore the request. This is going to hurt you badly. I'm telling you, it's going to hurt you pretty bad because the judge is going to ask you why or PayPal, why didn't you ship it back? Who doesn't ship back something if it's broken or if it's not working? Now, we can easily come in and say, hey, you know, we don't have to entertain this. We have a batch number sitting on top of this. We're going to win this either way. And we can do that. 
but I try to work with my customers. So send it back to us. Now, if the customer comes and says, hey, you know, this, that, and this, we try to work with you. Just like I did with the two people came over and sent products back to us, to us, we work with them. That's what we do. We don't basically give you an altercation that, well, you know, you open it, you're stuck with it. It lands on your property, you're stuck with it. We don't do that nonsense. But anyway, so we have from time to time, get people get mad. They don't want to accept the PayPal. They don't. Your product's showing a batch number. It's coming out of a 10-gallon or 5-gallon container. So if that your product is infected, guess what? Everybody else is defective. That's what happens, and that's why those batch numbers hold a lot of weight because you're coming out of not one conduct. We're not making an individual product for you. That product is made for multiple other customers. So if yours is defective, all of them are defective. That means they would have never passed the batch number verification test at all, period. We'd have got the same reaction you would have got. So... That's an irritate lullaby right there. Now, we'll have you still ship it back. Mine, this cost me money at the end of the day. I paid for the shipping. So once the item comes here and we take care of all that, then we ship it back. We share the video demonstration. You will never know. No one will never know who you are or nothing whatsoever. And we'll send you back the video. We'll have a little talk on the phone and then we'll work it out from there. Now, if you decide to be one of those people that, you know, you tamper with the stuff, we have people who tamper with our stuff and try to figure out how it's made and can't figure it out and get mad and they'll file a complaint against our company. If you do this, then what's going to happen is it's called a batch number violation, which means you're going to be sued in court for $12,000. Consider the fact that you are going to your bank to file this claim and you're going to have to back this up because once the lawsuit goes through that means that we're going to actually contact your bank institution and then what's going to happen if they find you committed bank fraud you're going to have another problem to deal with be honest about things okay that's the reason why we do everything out in the open we do all tests out in the open so we can be honest about everything but if you're going to do sneaky tactics like this this is going to hurt you badly financially it's definitely going to hurt you and if we find out that in any way you committed fraud then there's going to be criminal charges filed after that so, like I said, it's much better to ship the item back. Then we can look through it like we did with the customer who came over and said the screen cracked. We did it on a piece of cardboard. We rolled it up multiple times. It didn't crack. It didn't peel. It didn't do anything like that whatsoever. And we were able to send them back the product. Actually, they got an upgrade. They got the FOE. Send them the FOE, full container, back to them. And now they're spraying it down to a screen. See how easy that was to do? Now, just imagine if that customer did like the other people did and they didn't send the item back and they went in and they filed through PayPal they've lost their claim now said so they went to the bank institution they filed a charge back on me we take them to court we can go in the courtroom and take that surface and paint it down to a piece of cardboard we could crumble that thing up over and over and over again can you imagine that result in court that means you're going to lose if you're the products for it test it test it before ship out your honor tested with the batch number on the receipt and we had to ship back and the customer product worked perfectly fine. We back our stuff up. So, you know, you go to court, you, go, you end up going to, uh, we like the small claims because again, the lawyers are involved and say, hey, I got little involved anyway. But it, it, it's unnecessary. It's time out of my day. I got to waste to go take care of some dumb nonsense that, you know, could have easily been resolved. And I got to take time out of my day. So the reason why we sued for the 12 grand too, you wasted my day, you wasted my time. So something that's going to cost you under $300 is now going to cost you $12,000. And if from people want to sit there and say, oh, he does that because he's trying to get over it. How would I'm trying to get over I'm the only one that has a ship back, verification, batch number verification, and all my stuff is tested. Where the other people don't have any tests, don't do ship backs, and don't do batch numbers. But yet, we're the ones doing all the bad stuff. Okay. Universe that I freaking wouldn't But yeah, so like I said, you know, we have no problem with shipping you back, testing your product, bring it here, test it, take time out of my day to take care of that. And I have no problem with basically, if we work, we talk and you say, okay, you come honest with me, I'm not ready for that technology yet. All right, fine. We, we got this black silver over there, it's beautiful. All right, no problem. That's what you want? All right, ship your gallon down for free. And I tell you that it lands on the property, you're stuck with it. You open up, you're stuck with it. You don't do that. It's not a good policy. Imagine you buy an OLED TV, that thing landed on your property, and the guy just decided to just throw it over the gate, that thing shattered on the way over. And you contact them and say, hey, look, the screen is cracked. 
or it's just it doesn't look right it's coming up a greenish color or i got dead pixels on it like did you open it up yeah i opened it up well we can't give you an exchange and you know you can't get your money back did it land on your property yeah it did it land on my property oh it shows delivered all right then you know we can't do anything for you i'm sorry can you imagine that that's what you go to when you buy screen paints they're not backed up all right people gotta go thank you all for your time be safe out there and god bless